Hi everyone. Um, well, she's back. Um, the Beast and Stabby are back. Um, and what a palaver! How funny! Um, the Beasters, the ones who have paid, who were paying five dollars a month, so that they could comment on her live streams. They've all, you know, most of them. A good portion, the majority, are now rescinding their membership, stopping their membership, and um, to show that they are together in this, you know, that they're all together in this, we're all in this together. They went on her live stream, put in one 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 one. To me, they're all they're all in it together, you know, they're all. Uh, strength in numbers, so they're all leaving, and um, the majority are leaving. And she didn't know what the one meant. And then when she was told, she was enraged, and <laughs> she started going through um, blocking people. Anyway, they moved across because as soon as she finished her live stream, immediately Stabby goes on and does his video straight away. This is their pattern. And so the Beezers went across there and started one, 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 one underneath on his video. So, um, you know, things are coming home to roost now. I know that she's been a pain in the backside for years. I've watched her, watched her on and off for a few years, but this, particular thing is um sorry i'm not riffing i've got a tag on the back of this dress an old tag and it's just i need to cut it off um so she um she's losing a lot of subscribers and so she should, should um so i've written a few notes down so i don't forget because it's not my style as i'm not a reaction channel as such and it's not my style it might be in future, I might learn to do it somehow, but um, but to put her video on and then to do a voiceover, I'd rather just do it as I'm doing it, give my opinions and not allow my entire video to be um, just viewing what you've already seen of her and love a boy. So I've written a few things down. First thing I want to address though, which I haven't written down, people were saying that they were um, concerned about all the lies that she'd been telling. And she said, just name one lie, one lie, name one lie. And of course, if anybody had, had done that, that you know, they'd have, she did deleted it straight away. But I can name quite a few lies that she said, quite a few over this relationship. How about this for a lie? that he um, was buying her engagement ring and then it was the stuttering. Um, um, well, I picked it out and paid for it, but he's paying me back. He's denied that. And she was there when he denied it. And she didn't refute it. She was blustering. How about this for a lie? When May Anderson, who accused a certain person of raping her on one particular occasion. On that night, Chantal was doing a live stream. She was cleaning her chateau, her villa. And um, for everybody to see on that same night that May said that she'd been raped, Immediately that um, she learned about this, Chantal, uh, she was shocked. And the next thing we know, she's picking Nada up, taking him off to Toronto, using her grandmother's inheritance, I suppose. And um, off they go to Toronto. And she gave him an alibi. She said on the night that May Anderson said that Nada had been with her and had done this terrible thing, Chantal said she was with him all night. She wasn't. 
she was live on YouTube. Those are two quite major lies. There's been a lot of lies. There's been a lot of lies over the years, but we're concentrating on this one particular area at the moment. So, I just came back on yesterday after being off for days. She said she stayed off YouTube to give everybody a break from the drama. Not because she was giving everybody a break, but really it was because people were calling her out for the blatant liar that she is. She goes to buy food, you know, take everybody's mind off, let's get more food, stuff it down my pie hole. Um, the vegetarian patties that she bought, oh, horror, horror, had vegetables in. I thought she was going to have a coronary, the green stuff. What was it? What was it? Spinach? Broccoli? Um, the next point is three. She's only just realised, bless her soul, that she's been really taking her visas, the ones who pay $5 a month to, to comment. She's only just realised that she's been taking them for, for granted and she's going to do better. That was before all the ones were coming on the channel. Um, she's talking, she was talking for, um, I've got it here, 16 and a half minutes, if that's precise, from the start of that video, right up until I, I thought I can't watch any more of it um, until later and I'll watch it. <laughs> On a, on a reaction channel but she was talking for 16 and a half minutes non-stop about food just food you know the only content that she's had the last few months is food and nada um, another point she makes is she isn't scamming she's shocked that people would think that she's scamming and why would they think she's scamming Is she really that frigging stupid? Do I need to go into it all here? She's a scammer. She got 560, the last I heard, Beezers, who were paying $5 a month. And then she was going to have tears up to a point. I think she's talking about the soft porn channel she was talking about with Nada. That's all gone quiet. So I don't know whether the little snippet of them talking that um, people were going to be able to pay fourteen ninety nine a month and for that they'd be in this um, elite group like the Beezers now except, you know, three times the amount they're going to be paying. And then if they want to see Chantal strip off, do a belly dance, emit bodily noises, humiliate herself, kiss Nader's feet. She's willing to do that for an additional payment on top of the fourteen ninety nine. Maybe that's gone by the by now, now that the Beezers are leaving in droves. But her attitude in the video yesterday was, you can all go if you're not going to shut your mouths or stop being negative, you can go because more people will come. She is such an arrogant, arrogant person. And really, what's she got to be arrogant about? She's a £400 woman who has never been faithful to a man she's been with and who lies upside down ahead all the time. I remember when she was with BB and she was talking about, you know, about how if they had a child, um, how that child would be and talking about names. That was before she had the hysterectomy, of course. Um, 
she wouldn't be able to have a child now, obviously. She's saying yesterday, I'm not saying I'm going to marry Nada. You have not got the option to marry him. He will never marry you. A, you're not a Muslim. B, you're obnoxious, abhorrent, ridiculously puerile in the things you do and say. You've got no manners, you've got no finesse. His family would be ashamed if he brought you home. She was talking about um, the PayPal. Some kind person, she hasn't named who it is, but some kind person has fallen for it because you know, you know now she's uh, got the PayPal. If you want to talk to her privately, in addition to paying the five ninety nine a month, you can go into PayPal and pay her there. So someone sent her a hundred dollars, I think it was, and told her to spend it on a new television or the breathing thing that she uses. So she's going to buy a new television. But what was it she said recently to Vegan for Life when Vegan sent $200 for Chantal to take her ailing cat to the vet? Chantal said she wouldn't be told what to spend money on if people donated then they've got to accept that that money's lost and Chantal will do exactly what she wants with it. There you go. She had a, she's had a change of heart anyway, buying a telly. Driving while high, you know, he makes all these meals, delicious meals, and this is you know, smoking their marijuana and whatever else they have on the side. And then she drives home, high as a kite. Stabby has said to her, apparently, being philosophical, that um, you can make a mistake, but if you kill someone, they're still dead. My goodness, he's a deep thinker, isn't he? Yes, yes, Stabby, we know. If you kill someone, they're still dead. You had a lucky escape, didn't you? Stabbing two people, your ex and your ex's cousin. You can also assault and rape somebody. And even if you're sorry and you say it was a mistake, something in that person is destroyed forever. Just thought I'd point it out. Back later, everybody. I've got my eldest son and my granddaughter here later. So, um... I may get back on, I may not. Speak to you later. Bye-bye.